Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass, that's Sass, and welcome to another cigar review. So today, um, the Legion's having a smoke Liga day. So in order to join them and do review at the same time, I just smoke one of those Ligas. All right. So today we're doing the Liga 13-ish thing. I don't know much about it. I don't smoke a lot of Ligas. And it's one of those things, and I most likely 195% Eric probably sent one of these things to me. Because I'm pretty sure I never bought one of these. So let's get a look at the cigar. Alrighty then. Cigar is Liga Provada Unico Series UF 13 Dark. Wrapper is Connecticut Broadleaf Dark Visos, I believe. Um binder is Brazilian Matafina. Filler is Honduras and Nicaraguan tobacco, um, but they are supposedly Cuban seed. Not like that matters. Okay, size is five and a half by 52. That is a kind of rather slightly big Robusto with a tied down tail. MSRP is 1395 and it should still is a regular production. Okay, so. Being a broadly. There's not much smell on it. Nothing particular smell. The foot, you can kind of semi smell that cologne floral note. That's it. Other than that, not much. Okay. And if I can the cutter. I don't like this kind of cap. I feel I always feel like this kind of cap is gonna bust up real bad. So I had to use a serrated edge just in case and watch it's gonna have some issues. See? It's coming off. It always happens. I'm gonna Is that single. Holy crap, how many times did you wrap this thing? Wow, oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. So they use a long ass cap for no reason. And the cap already kind of like is old. So it's like peeling off. So I'm going to break half off, put a little glue on it and call it a day. This glue process is really quick. So a lot of time, like, you know, you have an old cigar that's been sitting and the, the glue is just dried up or not as gluey. That, you know, you can just quickly put a cigar glue on it. It's no different than the factory, you know, they just put this kind of stuff on it. Right. So it's put a little bit on it. And it should be good. One of those things about the cap is that they sometimes they start to they want to do certain stupid kind of cap like this one. They just really wrap a long line over it and then capped over it because <laughs> they want to tie this thing. Right. And then a lot of time, these kind of special cab 
put so much stress on the top, when you cut it, something's gonna break off. So I'm used to it. Yeah, it tastes like that floral note for the Brazilian Matafina. A little bit saltiness too. Yep. Ooh. Right away, you can get leather. You can get some baking spice. You can get espresso. You get a little bit earthiness. You get a little bit of saltiness. Pepper. And some sort of developing sweetness. So that you get a little bit stronger every time I take a puff. So that's what we got. And again, I don't know what UF13 stands for. And online, there's UF13, US13, dark, US13, whatever. I, I don't know. UF13 is what it is. So it's called UF13. All right. Right now, I just need to smoke one third. Go chat with the boys. And I'll come back after one third. Be right back. All right, we're at first third. Ash is nice. Smoke output is ridiculous. Uh, strength. I don't know, medium, medium plus ish right now. Um, floral, espresso, earthiness, pepper, gritty, earthiness, a little bit of leather, baking spice. The combo is not bad. I, I mean, the combo is it's one of those like very acceptable, <clears throat> safe blend per se. I'm pretty sure when this first came out, it was like revolutionary. But right now, it's like a lot of flavor exceeds this. So, so far, so good. Not too bad. I wish the, the strength was just a tad lower. They would be much more enjoyable because I think the strength is a little bit higher than the flavors delivering. But not bad right now. Not bad right now. That artificial, man. This is smoke. This is just... How much oil did you wipe on this thing? How much oil did you wipe on this thing? I'm not even like... Man. But yeah. We will continue. Second, third. Be right back. Alright, second, third. This thing is not burning well. It's like it's like a chore, man. It's like a chore. <clears throat> After the... Like, somewhere in the ha second... Like halfway. It, it's just bitter. Chocolate, espresso, earthiness, but bitter. It's like a bitter chocolate. Strain's still about medium, medium plus, but man, this just... The flavor isn't that good. I still have a lot of pepper, but that bitterness is kind of weird. Um, yeah, it doesn't burn well. I had to fix it a few times. Took a while to smoke. Burns really slow. Smoke is like choking me. I don't know. First, it was kind of enjoyable. After that taste change, it's not that good. So, before I finish last stir, let's uh, look at the band.
Yeah, that's bitter. Ooh. And the bitter is not that regular, like a bitter note. It's like everything is just. It lingers. It's a low amount of bitter note, but that lingers. Kind of annoying bitter note. It's like, I wish it's not there. So, very simple band. Most of Unico's like that. So, UF 13. That's it. That's all we have. So, very simple band. Anyways, blaster, finish it up. This thing is taking too long. I feel like it's a chore. Strength doesn't balance the, the flavor. Flavor took a negative turn for me. We'll see. Be right back. Okay. Last third. Oh, that's nasty. It just gets worse and worse and harder to burn. I had to keep fixing it. Inside, I think somehow it's either really wet or really oily that it doesn't really want to burn. So it takes a lot of touch up and every time I touch up, it just gets worse and worse and worse. And the flavor just get lighter and lighter and lighter. Strength still there. But not a lot. String probably went down. Uh, string, string still there, but the flavor is like, I don't know, 10% of the original flavor. It's not good cigar. Oof. It's not a good cigar. So with that being said, I rate the cigar $6. Oof. That was bad. That is a bad one. It just gets worse and worse. After the first third, it's just worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. It's just not enjoyable cigar. So yeah, I would say skip that one. <laughs> skip that one. And that's probably why I don't see a lot of people smoke it. I mean, some people might enjoy it. Not for me. I, I have problem lighting it. I have problem keeps me keep it lit. I have problem smoking it. I have problem with the flavor. I have problem with the strength. <laughs> it's gimmicky at best. Give me a best. Smoke output is great, but that's pretty much it. And it's probably the amount of oil they just put in all the layers. And it pulls out so much smoke. Just tough to smoke, man. It's just tough. It's tough. It looks good. Just leave it there. It looks like an incense. Just burns all day. But that's pretty much it. Six dollars. All right. So that will be it for this particular cigar review. If you like it, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, and check out podcast, check out swag, check out membership, and man, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Eric, don't send me another league like this. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. All right, I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys.